Radio check, radio check, can you hear me? Radio check. Well, our first season has been a huge learning curve, as we always knew it would be. Uh, it's been an incredibly exciting time for the team, though, as we've come to grips with the new formula, and indeed with our first all-electric racing car, the I-Type. Quick run through the settings before we run back. With limited testing and restrictions uh, during the season, it means you have to really kind of get the utmost from the package you've developed, so in terms of setup, in terms of team operations, and ultimately also in terms of the drivers. We're here to exercise the car in uh, nice hot weather here in Spain. This is to prove out that the, uh, the new design is capable of operating in these temperatures. It's fit for purpose in terms of its structural integrity over these uh, curbs that we have at this particular circuit and to develop its performance. We try and simulate basically every scenario um, in, in a race weekend, so energy saving, 200 kilowatts, just to try and get as much mileage as we can. Hold on in three, door one for the launch. We start out with reliability testing. Yep, okay. And then we transition to doing more performance testing. We do short 200 kilowatt runs, long energy saving runs, long fast runs to make sure that everything will cope if we test it to its maximum. This is quite unique because there's no other cars, you're sort of racing yourself out there as a driver. In different countries you test that, the conditions are a lot different, tracks are different. So you've got to take all these things into consideration and just think about the bigger picture with what we can learn on the day. The testing is quite a challenge for the drivers. We keep them in the car as much as we can. It's a lot more demanding. We do a lot more miles than what we would over a race weekend. So physically, it's very hard. I'm also trying to think fundamental changes that we'd never try in a race weekend whether it's too high risk or we don't have the time. At least here yeah, we've, we've got as much time as we need to try these things and um, that's what test is about, is we're trying to find the limits of the car and opening up the, the performance and, and finding more time out of the car. A lot of things are still the same from season three, same monocoque, um, obviously a lot of the dimensions are identical, but the things we can change uh, are the powertrain. It's anything back from the battery, so it's the gearbox, the electric motor, the uh, controller for that, all the rear suspension and the cooling system. The exciting thing about where we are at the moment is having just completed season three, we've now developed the season four powertrain with all the information we've accumulated over the last 12 months. And that's providing us with a fantastic platform to go forward and develop a car that is competitive within where the championship is at the moment. Manufacturers coming in are taking it to another level and we've needed all that information to be able to provide a competitive powertrain. Fundamentally uh, looking forward to having a more competitive overall car package for next year combined with development that teams been going through is something that we're all looking forward to. It's a really important time as we make decisions on how and what we'll do for, for our next season in the championship. What we have learned is it's incredibly competitive and it's really important that we have a competitive and strong car for next season based on the learnings we've had from this year so far.